This is a oral spirochetes in plaque bacteria. In this particular uh, slide right here, you can see tremendous numbers of spirochetes clustered in the center of the screen here. And uh, you can see a wide variety of different types of spirochetes here. Notice that uh, the little gray blob at about the top of the screen is moving about. This is a small amoeba. It appears to be affected by the spirochetes moving around it. You can also see very, very many different types of spirochetes and different type of spirochetal movement in this slide. You can see some moving like snakes, some spinning. Some are capable of moving quite dramatically in different ways. I'm going to slide around a little bit. Down at the bottom here, you'll see a, a, little, a little amoeba being jostled by the spirochetes. Let's move around. These are some of these cells you're looking at are polymorphonuclear leukocytes. You can see the tremendous activity of this cell just uh, to the right of the left of center there. Inside the cytoplasm of these uh, PMNs is just uh, phenomenally active. These have crawled outside the body and are found in the plaque. And here's a large, another large amoeba, and here comes another one coming up. Some uh, Red blood cells are, are in this scene. They're round, uh, uniformly gray. Uh, to give you a size, there's one down over at uh, 5 o'clock in the corner. That red blood cell is being jostled by the uh, spirochetes around it. And that red blood cell is 7 microns across. So you see a large amoeba coming up through the bottom of the slide here from the lower left. And uh, it's kind of a uniformly gray blob that moves by pseudopodia, pseudopods, false feet they're called. And uh, those, uh, he'll be crawling up into the field here. I'm going to readjust uh, this, this scene in a moment there. I moved him up a little bit for you. And you can see him uh, just uh, sliding around doing the things amoebas do. In the meantime, you can see the plethora of uh, spirochetes. And if anybody seems to think they have any difficulty diagnosing these things, in someone who has them. It's pretty easy to diagnose. This sample of plaque was taken probably about um, well above the gingiva. Now obviously these modal forms are buried under the pile of plaque and they're uh, visible here being protected by the plaque film. A very complex bioform of non-modal forms but down underneath those forms is anaerobic. And who knows what other kind of uh, uh, environment is down there. So I'm uh, just moving around looking at different types of uh, different kinds of, of spirochetes. Some are very very tiny in these slides. We move around you can see um, blobs of gray. Anytime you see a blob of gray sometimes it might be a dead polymorphonuclear leukocyte just the cell body up at the top at uh, 2 o'clock. Looks to be a dead PMN.